Hello fellow criminals, here's a quick look into the gun running DLC in GTA Online. Now, first off, let's take a look at the available bunker locations. As you can see, Rockstar added quite a lot of different bunker locations and none of them are in Los Santos, so finally we got a reason to actually go outside the city more often. You can outfit the bunkers with a different theme, and you can also add in a personal quarters so that you can set your spawn location there. By adding in a shooting range you can actually work on your aim inside your base, or you can choose to competitively try to outshoot your friends if you wish. The gun locker option is available too, and it functions pretty much the same as within your office and the motor club, although it is a lot cheaper. And lastly you can opt to buy some transportation in the form of some modified golf cart. This is actually pretty fun to drive around with within your bunker. So let's first take a minute to watch the introduction cinematic you see when you first enter the bunker. That's that. Funny. We're selling this silly old place. Not that it's ever been used for anything inappropriate. Uh, of course it wasn't. Just routine business that needs a bunker. You know how it is, don't you? Anyway, uh, we're just moving to somewhere else uh, equally routine. You know, hey, hey, hurry the fuck up! We have to leave. Come on, destroy anything you can't carry. Oh, anyway, if I were you, I'd make it a nice boutique hotel or some such. It'd be great as that. A microbrewery or record decks, hog roast. It's perfect. Yeah. Excuse me. Hello? Yes, yes, we're almost done. No. No, we've destroyed everything. More or less. Up, 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 up. What are you talking about? Do it, but don't. Do it. What are you, a fucking fortune cookie? I will call you back. So, listen. I've, uh... How would you like to make some money? Good money, you know? There's no money in hog roast, but there is in this work. Hey! Stop destroying things! Some of you are staying! Let's go for a little ride, shall we? It's really lovely to meet you. As you can see, we got ample room for parking. Here's the mobile operations center you bought on Warstock. Got it? Anyway, we're on a strict schedule. And this is your shooting range for target practice, team bonding. Oh, I can't hear myself think. Hey! Hey! Hey, leave the range up when you're done. They're keeping the equipment. You get the point. Ah, missed our exit. Just give me a sec. <laughs> Should've just reversed. Not gonna miss these corridors. Okay, here we go. Here we are, the heart of the place. Research and manufacturing. You want to make real money? Dirty little secret for you. It's in arms. Log into the network, request a resupply, and bring the hardware back here. The eggheads will take it apart. Cook up new, exciting ways of terminating people. Or just get them to copy existing designs. Then, you sell your weaponry to state-sanctioned actors on the global stage, make a tidy profit, and do the country proud. I got medals for this. I promise you. Come look at this. Hustle, people! We need this out of here five minutes ago. You run a good operation, you fill the whole place up. Enough arms to affect regime change in two-thirds of the world's democracies, according to the stats. How does that sound? Fantastic is how it sounds. 
Oh, Jesus. Gotta get out of here. We're bombing someone tomorrow. I mean, I don't know what I mean. Doesn't matter. It's been wonderful. Remember, we never met, you never saw me. I don't know you, and anything you think I said, I didn't say, and you were delusional. Remember that. I'll be in touch. You're a hero! It is actually a surprisingly big base, honestly, but thankfully moving around in it isn't too bad, especially not if you chose the transportation. But it's not really necessary, it just adds a bit of flavor. Alright, so now that we've bought the bunker, we can also buy the mobile operation center. This is a heavily armored truck with a huge trailer that you can modify in your bunker to your personal tastes. It contains three bays. At first you must choose which type of cab you want either the Phantom Custom or the Hauler Custom. I chose the Hauler Custom, but I can't be certain which one offers more protection or if they're equal in that regard. Anyway, the first bay makes it possible to either build in a living quarters or you can go for the command center. Building in the command center instead of a living quarters disables the possibility of passive mode when actually inside the trailer. This is because the command center allows you or anybody else inside to manually use the external turret that gets added together with the command center. The second bay has a bit more options. You can go for the living quarters again, or you can go for the weapon workshop or the weapon and vehicle workshop. If you select a weapon workshop or the living quarters, you can actually use bay 3 as a personal vehicle storage. Or you can go for the weapon and vehicle workshop, which makes it possible to modify your weaponized vehicles, but uses up both bay 2 and 3, so choosing this makes the personal vehicle storage unavailable. In any case, I've just purchased the weaponized Tampa as of yet, and I'm pretty impressed with it so far. It has good handling, good protection, pretty good speed, and a fixed turret, which is just pretty badass overall, since you can actually fire it from within the vehicle. Now, with the Weapon and Vehicle Workshop, you can drive your vehicle inside the trailer, Knight Rider style, and customize it no matter where you've parked your mobile operations center. Unique modification options become available, such as a good number of armored mods, some of which can only be used when they're unlocked through research. And research is a big part of this new update. See, the way it works is similar to the system seen in the biker businesses. You have a supply bar that gets used up gradually to either spend on research or on the manufacturing of weapons. To refill the supply bar you can steal them or you can buy them. Again, much like the biker business. What is new, however, is the possibility to allocate your personnel to either focus on manufacturing weapons or to focus on research. Or you can split your personnel to focus on both at the same time, but that's presumably at a much slower rate. When you first allocate your people to focus on research, it seems random in what kind of research items get researched first, but you can speed up the process by buying the next unlock. Since I haven't played the new DLC too much as of yet, I can't say how long it usually takes, but if I had to guess, I'd ballpark it at around 3 or 4 hours maybe. Either way, it is slow, so keep that in mind. Now the things you can unlock through research are all very interesting though. I've purchased the weaponized Tampa and in time you can add much more weapons like a dual remote minigun or a rear firing mortar. Lastly, let's quickly take a look at the new vehicles added on the Warstock site. As you can see, there is a good number of interesting new additions of vehicles thanks to the new tier of weaponized and armored cars. Now my own first impressions are that this seems like a very solid DLC so far. It certainly feels very polished and the ability to have a bunker and your own personal mobile command center is just simply badass in general. Also the new weaponized vehicles finally gives us a fighting chance against Hydra griefers and stuff like that and hopefully this DLC also pushes back the number of hackers but that's probably just wishful thinking on my part. Before closing this video, I'd like to give you a quick tour of the bunker itself, so that you can get a better picture of what you can expect.
My name is Sir Dachi. I hope this quick look video was of any help to you and I wish you, as usual, a fantastic and highly illegal but lucrative day.